Hey Pyros, Valmir here at Elite Fireworks with another amazing video guys, but we are going to talk about artillery shells. Now, if you guys are wondering, Valmir, haven't you been making a little bit of too many artillery shell videos? Well, yes and no guys, because you must understand, if we had the selection of a typical fireworks store, then yes, we have made plenty of videos on artillery shells. But having one of the largest artillery shell selection in the nation gives us the flexibility of actually bringing you a ton of amazing content on specific artillery shells. Now in this video, we are going to talk a little bit more about ball shells. So we are pretty much going to ignore all of our canister shells, which of course here at the Elite, we are known for canisters. Now, as far as ball shells, we do not have the most impressive selection just because of course we have a small store. So right now we focus mainly in the canister selection when it comes to artillery shells. So let's get to it. So as far as ball shells, so basically guys, when it comes to ball shells, there's really three different categories, at least that I put ball shells in. So these different subcategories are gonna be of course your standard. Now when it comes to standard ball shells, basically I consider anything from the mini shell all the way to the festival ball or any of the basic ball shells that you get from many different brands. Now of course right here we have a lot of different black hat ball shells but there's, you know, from many different brands, these typically tend to be your six shot standard 10 to 15 grams. And of course, uh, 10 to 15 grams per shot or even the mini ones, which are going to be even less than that. But the point being, typically they come in two type of variations. So you have six shots, such as the Black Hat six shot artillery. Now I'm showing this one specifically because it is not in a box, but in a bag. So visually it's a lot easier to see. So. Basically, you get six ball shells. Now, as far as tube size, so this is your standard tube that they provide, which realistically you can use any tube to launch these uh, and it'll work. So basically, you know, even something like this, you can use a hydro bomb tube to launch them and it'll be okay. The only ones really that would not be okay and you have to use their own tube is of course the mini shells. So for instance, like this one, as you can see, the actual tube size is significantly smaller. Uh, but yeah, basically when it comes to standard ball shells, so you have typically they come in six shots or you have something like this, which is 12 shots. But as far as explosions with these, pretty much a lot of them are going to be, whether they're gonna be six assorted different color effects or often they might be six different effects or it does happen from time to time. I know with, for instance, with the festival ball, sometimes like with the other one actually from Black Hat, not this one, so this one we call festival ball A, but there's also festival ball, festival ball B. There are some of the effects that are the same. Now in this category, my favorite one, of course, is uh, I would have to say is from uh, Monkey Mania, which for those of you in the pyro community, you probably do know Monkey Mania is part of Raccoon Fireworks. So this is basically their cheaper brand, if you, if I were to put it, but you gotta understand, it's made by Raccoon, so it's good quality. And matter of fact, because we import this one, so we sell for just under 12 bucks, which is a phenomenal deal for this one. What I like about it, you get whistling tails to break, so pretty awesome. But anyway, as far as like ball shots, we do have one more actually over there from Bro Brothers, which I'll, sh like, let me just show you real quick. So that, this one is not a standard size one. This is actually what I would consider the large one because of course it's a combination and the brakes, the actual uh, amount of powder per shot is actually more. And plus it's a variation of, you get 12 double brakes, but the reason we've put it also here is just because you get also 12 canisters. So we have put it with canisters, but moving from the standard size ball shells, of course, over here, we have what I consider large ball shells. Now, when it comes to the large ball shells, typically you are gonna expect, you know, approximately almost double or up to like 50% more powder. So majority of these, I would say, you know, as far as the shot, they could be anywhere from 20 to 30, 30, well, give or take, I'm pushing it with 30, but let's just say 20 to 30 grams uh, on average. So you are gonna get more powder. Typically they are going to go higher up in the air. So majority of the standard size ones typically 
excluding the mini ball shell, are going to go around 100 to 120, 30, 40 feet. Whereas these, you're going to see them around 140 to 160 feet, right? Now, even though, for instance, this one, you might notice, so for instance, the box is pretty small, but I do consider this one a large ball shell, even though it's the same size as, let me just show you real quick. So for instance, if we look at the classic artillery here from Black Hat, it is approximately the same size, but I do put this, I classified it as a large because guys, if you were to look at the effects on this one specifically, this one resembles a lot of the, what we consider large ball shells here at Elite Fireworks when it comes to the actual effects, because they do get with, with the large ones, they do get much better performance, much better noise. And of course the colors and the effects seem to be a lot more sophisticated. Now in this category, again, when it comes to ball shells, I mentioned this in, earlier in the video, our selection kind of slacks off right now, but of course we are bringing more inventory. Matter of fact, we are days away from over 75 new window products and then we're gonna have raccoon and so on. But long story short, in the next couple of months, there's gonna be a ton of new products, both at Elite Fireworks of Texas and Elite Fireworks of New Hampshire. But nevertheless, this is our selection right now when it comes to ball shells. Now, one of my favorite in this category, of course, is Futurama from Raccoon Fireworks. And again, guys, I love Raccoon Fireworks when it comes to ball shells specifically, just because they make very awesome items. And if you notice so far, two for two, I am recommending actually in this category, something with tail effect. Because personally, when it comes to ball shells, you are not really expecting anything where it's going to be huge amount of noise. So often you buy a ball shell because they are much more cost efficient option of shooting artillery shells. Because let's say you want to shoot mortars, but you don't want to spend hundred dollars on a 60 gram 24 pack. Well, you know, you can sh start off shooting mortars as from uh, something as small as a mini artillery shell from Pitbull Fireworks, right? But of course they do get bigger now. So the third type of ball shell, and that is going to be a multi-break ball shell, guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. And as you guys can see here, let's just say if we were to look at DIY fireworks for breaks, as you can see, there's multi-balls. So each ball is going to be one individual break. Obviously, each so all the balls as you can see they are connected so this is actually a single shot another single single shot so for instance something like this is six shots but it's actually 24 different breaks so matter of fact you are going to get 24 breaks with this one similar to for instance our ginger shell which is 24 canisters though but 24 breaks but the only difference with here is you are shooting less shots but getting multi break now you might wonder maybe, okay, this could possibly be much better deal than grabbing a 24 pack of canisters, spending $100 uh, per pack. Well, it is a better deal and it's not because you must understand the legal limit is still 60 gram and often a lot of the ball shells, they don't really peak at the 60 gram uh, total amount. So if you're even for instance, if we were to look at something like this or even this, let's say to differentiate. So wow, wow, wow from Pitbull, that is three shots in one, sh in one shell, right? So it's a three ball shell. Now, even if these were, let's say fully 60 gram, you know, the total limit, you are looking at approximately even if, and let's just say to simplify it, we're going to make them all equal. So each break is going to be roughly 20 grams. So rather than actually feeling the power of a pure 60 gram canister, you are breaking it down to multiple smaller shells. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of ball shell artilleries? And if so, what is your favorite one? whether that is a single standard ball shell or something like a multi-break big ball shells or something in between such as our large ball shells. Anyway, guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in another video right here on our channel. Bye-bye.